Good evening. This is Mark Carey from the Marcus Carey Perspective. I wanted to come to you tonight briefly to talk with you about something I think is probably one of the most important things that I have seen in quite some time in the news. You know, we've talked about the assassination attempt on Donald Trump's life over the weekend. We've talked about the fact that the bullet missed. We've talked about the fact that the Secret Service and his protection detail failed miserably. Lots and lots of questions about all of those things. But I heard people using the word providential, that this event was providential, that he only caught a bullet, grazed his right ear. Providential means the involvement of God, that something spiritual happened. I want to tell you that I've been practicing law for 44 years, and in that time I've had the opportunity to talk with people when they've been at the end of the rope, they had nowhere else to go. 10,000 clients in that period of time I've seen and talked with people from every walk of life with probably most of the problems any of us could ever imagine and never hope for. And in many of those cases, I've had the opportunity to meet people who asked me a question, why me? Why did this happen to me? And I've always searched for an answer to that. A lot of times I said, in the beginning, I don't know. But as time went on, I began to see a pattern. And in that pattern, I saw the hand of God. Now, what I mean by that is I had people bring me their children who were in trouble. They were in trouble with the law. They were facing some criminal charge. And they had an attitude. And their attitude was, why me? All my friends do this. They get by with it. Why am I the one that gets busted? They came to me, I think, through a perversion of the legal system that's been perpetuated by TV shows and movies, that my job as a lawyer was to get them out of it. I was asked one time by a friend, how can you represent somebody knowing that they've committed a crime? And my answer was, I defend people's rights. I don't defend their wrongs. My job is not to get somebody out of it. It is to help them get through the process to make sure that their rights are protected but at the same time, use that process to maybe help them on the other side of this event come out a better person, a better citizen with a deeper understanding of why me? Why did this happen to me? I'm a firm believer that God is talking to us all the time. We can't hear him all the time, just like wherever you might be right now. There are millions of radio waves floating around, everything from AM, FM, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, radio waves from television shows and your microwave and broadcasts for, ra for airplanes and railroads, all kinds of radio waves. But until you have the right receiver and you're interested in hearing it, you can't hear those radio waves. By the same token, God is talking to us all the time. But there are moments in our life, things happen, which give us an opportunity to pause for a minute and consider God's presence, consider God's message to us. I've said many, many times to young people, you know, God speaks to you all the time. Maybe if you're not listening and God really needs you to listen, he'll tap you on the shoulder. There may come times when God shoves you a little bit by the shoulder. And then there are times when you're about ready to go really down a wrong path and God will hit you hard enough, he will drive you to your knees. You'll remember the famous quote by Abraham Lincoln who said, there have been times in my life, despite all the best advice around me, I had nowhere else to go and I was driven to my knees. I think this event, for Donald Trump this weekend, I think I saw something. I think I picked up on something. And I'm going to share that with you now. First of all, if you haven't seen this photograph, take a look. This is someone's representation of what happened at the last minute. In the top picture on the left, you see Donald Trump looking a certain direction. Down below, you see his head turn a little to the right. Directly across from that are the position that his head would have been in in the bullet's trajectory had he not turned his head a little bit to the right. Down below, you'll see what happened when he did. It was, I believe, the hand of God. 
Now, you may have your own opinion about how this works. You may have your own opinion about why this bullet grazed his ear. But I am always trying to find God's message in everything. It's critical that we hear him. It's critical that we listen to him. It's critical that we follow him. And we listen intently knowing that his message to us can have a powerful impact. And what I saw last night, what I saw was Donald Trump, a different Donald Trump than I'd seen before. He was at the Republican National Convention. And at some moment in the evening, he made his way with a bandage on his ear down the hallway and onto the stage. I'm going to show you a little snippet of that video. You know Donald Trump, the super confident, determined, fierce fighter Donald Trump. I want you to look in his eyes as he comes down this hallway. I'm not certain, but I see a little humility, maybe even a little fear. There's something more humble about him in this view, something in his eyes. I could be wrong, but I can't imagine that a set of circumstances like what happened to this weekend, I can't imagine that something like that would not have a dramatic impact on anybody. I'm hopeful that Donald Trump sees this as having been the hand of God that saved him, saved his life. And if God saved his life from evil, then he has a greater purpose. I believe we're going to hear from him this week, and I think we're going to hear reflected in the words he speaks, some level of recognition of that. That as we go forward together, he will tell us we need to fight evil. We need to know it exists. And we need to come together to do good in the world. I believe that's going to be in his message. I certainly hope that it is. And I hope that it's contained in the message that I'm delivering to you tonight. The reason I'm saying this is, this was not just a transformative moment for Donald Trump and his family. But it can be, if we pay attention, a transformative moment for us, for our nation, and our nation's impact on the world. That, my friends, is what I call the Marcus Carey perspective.